So who do you want to serve? Who would you like to work with in your business? We're going to talk about that on the next iMobile TV. So stay tuned. Hello and welcome. My name is April Ray, CEO and founder of the Introvert Mobile Studios. Thank you so much for joining me. So I wanted to cut this really quick video just to kind of give you an idea of what it means to attract your ideal client. Who is it that you want to work with? What is your ideal customer? Um, who is your ideal customer? You really, these are the things that branding actually helps you to discover because when you discover who you are and who you, how you want to show up online, who you want to be online, what kind of value you want to give online, when you get your messaging right, when you get your, your brand identity correct, then you're going to start seeing the type of person that you want to work with the type of person that you want to attract. And what we call that is your client avatar. So a lot of times people in the industry say, you know, the best practices is to create a name, get really specific with this client avatar. Um, the reason why we do this is because we know that not everybody wants what you have. I mean, most people get online and they just start throwing out lines, hoping somebody, a fish is going to jump on and say, hey, I want to join or I want to buy. And that's, uh, that takes a lot of time. I mean, you're just putting things out there and hoping somebody's going to catch on. Um, and that normally doesn't work. And if it does, it takes a long time to do it. Instead, you want to go to the pool where you know that the fishes that you're looking for actually swim there. So that when you do drop your line, you know somebody is going to bite pretty quick. That's what it means to find out and create your avatar. Find out who you want to serve, who you want to work with, because it's really not just about, um, okay, most people, they look at their business and they say, oh, if you're in network marketing, they say, okay, I'm a network marketer. Um, I have a business and I want to build my team. So you start kind of acting, asking people, so you, you want to you wanna sign up for my team? You want to um, buy my product? And they almost become beggars in that sense. But when you really try and take another perspective about network marketing, think of it as this. Your company has a product and a service and they're allowing you the resale rights to market that product. So they're basically the wholesalers, okay? Like a brick and mortar business, they'll take a, a, a boutique, a clothes boutique will take somebody else's clothes and they'll slap their brand and their a label on it and sell it as their own and they'll create this whole brand around it and say, hey, look at my awesome brick and mortar building and come in and, and start shopping. But they didn't create the product. OK, that's the same thing. So you want to think of yourself as a business owner with a commodity. You have a product and you have the ability to create a sales force so you can build a sales force around that product and around your own business. OK, so what do you do when you're creating a sales force? You're not just asking anybody to come join you. You want somebody who is going to be effective. You want somebody who not only wants to be there, but is qualified to be there. So when you're creating your perfect avatar, think about, well, um, you know, what does she look like? How old is she? Where does she live? How much money does she make? Is she still in corporate America? Maybe he or she is a stay-at-home mom or dad, right? Um, get really specific. What ethnicity are they? What age are they? Um, get really, really detailed, and you'll discover that when you find that avatar and you've created that avatar, you'll be able to create content and, and build value that's going to attract them. And they're going to be the ones that say, yeah, I want, I want in. I want to join you. I want to buy from you. And it's not such a struggle of just randomly going out and throwing your link out there to see who is going to bite. Okay, so let me just share one quick tool with you that you can use. It's it's on Facebook. It's it, you have to have a Facebook um, business page, and you should have one if you have a business. I don't care what company you're in or what industry you're in. You need to have a Facebook business page, or we used to call it fan page, where you can run ads. Now you don't have to run an ad, but there's a page on there called the Facebook Insights, and Facebook is so awesome. They have collected thousands and thousands of, of, of detailed information about you and everybody else on Facebook. And they also have um, detailed information from outside people as well. I think that's kind of, I'm not going to say it's scary, but I mean, hey, they got intel, okay? And you can take advantage 
of that intel. You can find out your perfect avatar just by going through the Facebook um, Insights Manager. And I, I've done a video. I'll put that link inside uh, of the comments so that you can go into it and you can check it out yourself. And, and I go over how to find your perfect avatar. Okay, so once you got your branding done, once you got your perfect uh, messaging and you've got your uh, brand identity all set up, now you can start building that perfect client that you want to work with. All right, so that's it. That's my quick video. I hope it was quick enough for you so you can get on to do what you need to do for the day. Don't forget to click the link below and subscribe. If you're on my YouTube channel, subscribe to iMobile TV. If you're watching this on YouTube, leave a comment if you liked it or even if it sucked. All right. So thanks again for joining me and bye-bye for now.